Timothy was born on October 1st, two days after Hurricane Gloria. He came in like a storm and a trooper, a big, burly boy, adventurous and daring. That was Timothy. 911, where's your emergency? I need, a, I need an ambulance right away. My son just overdosed on heroin. Please hurry. Is he breathing? I don't know. Tim didn't make it. I'm happy that I was with Timothy for his last breath. I was there for his first breath. I feel bad for parents whose children pass away and they're not with them. My son was a phenomenal athlete. We found him unconscious on the garage floor in sub-zero temperatures and couldn't wake him. That physical strength clearly wasn't enough to help him emotionally cope. This might be futile. There might be nothing I can do here, and there can't be nothing I can do. I've got to do something. I'm, I'm a father. I didn't know where else to turn. I found LICAD. LICAD was founded in 1956. Regrettably, in 2016, the mission of the agency is more imperative than ever before. Here on Long Island, we're losing perhaps more than one individual a day to fatal overdose. This is not a flaw in people's character. This is an epidemic. The face of addiction today is you, me, all of us. When I start using, I turn into a completely different person. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to do anything except for use drugs. I'm getting sick, and I just need the drugs to get by. Lycad's primary mission is to fight on the front lines of the substance use crisis. Whether you need support, whether you need mental health counseling, whether you need detox, you can reach a Lycad clinician 24 hours a day. Lycad was an oasis in a sea of substance abuse. They walked me through the formal intervention with my son, and it uh, was the hardest thing I ever had to do. If we can prevent one overdose death, we have done Lycad's mission. We do drug and alcohol assessments, inpatient services, education and prevention, stress management. OK, so you're going to twist on the nasal atomizer. We've trained over 4,000 Long Islanders in administering a serum that brings people out of near-fatal overdose. If those people weren't revived with that life-saving kit, they would be a statistic. Working at LICAD, we get to help people. I've seen it actually change the lives of families, veterans. Now that I'm clean, things are good. I have a job. I go to NA meetings about five nights a week, and I'm very involved in my recovery. What do you say to organizations and individuals that help you cope with the most devastating losses in your life? You're more than grateful. You're indebted. I would thank Glycad for being there and being supportive and being open to anyone who's willing to get the help. My recovery, my grief, Glycad's gotten me through it. It's made me realize my purpose in life. From 1956 to the present day, if Glycad is about anything, it's about hope. We can't let this keep happening. Do I see an end to it? I hope so. I really hope so but it's gonna take all of us to do whatever we can do.